Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. I work mostly in broadcast and the web, and that means that I usually deal with frame rates that are either 29.97 frames per second or 30 frames per second. But occasionally, I'm asked to work at 24 frames per second, and I get an image sequence that was filmed or rendered at the same 24 FPS frame rate. So to be clear here, I'm not talking about dealing with composition frame rates and footage frame rates that don't match up. That's a fairly complex subject that I'm not going to cover here. I'm talking about working at 24 frames per second with footage that is also at 24 frames per second. Now that sounds pretty innocuous when you consider that you can just set your composition's frame rate to 24 and then bring the footage in. Everything should be fine, right? <laughs> not so fast. It might be fine, but it might not be. It all depends on the image sequence and how you interpreted it or what your preferences are set to. You see, by default, After Effects is set to import all footage at 30 frames per second. Or if you're living outside the United States, as many of you are, it could be set to 25 frames per second, give or take a few decimal places. I can't say for certain why that's the default setting, but I suspect that it's because After Effects is generally used as a broadcast tool, and so the default settings are designed for that. So when you import footage, After Effects will assume a broadcast frame rate, and that frame rate will be based on your country or installation settings. That means that if I'm importing an image sequence that's meant to be played at 24 frames per second and After Effects is reading it at 30 frames per second, it will be only 80% of its original length, which means that it will be played back at about 20% faster than it was intended. So if you had 10 seconds of footage that was 24 frames per second, then when it's read as 30 frames per second, it will only be 8 seconds long. Obviously, that's not good. Now I know what some of you are thinking. This is no big deal. If I put the footage into a 24 frames per second composition, the footage will play back at 24 frames per second, solving the problem. Well, you're partially right. The footage will be played back at the composition's frame rate of 24 FPS, but only after it's been interpreted at 30 frames per second, which means that After Effects will now not only shorten the length of the 10 second clip to 8 seconds, but it will also skip every fifth frame, because that's what After Effects does to all 30 frames per second footage in a 24 frame per second composition. Test it, you'll see. This is one of the many issues that come up with disparate frame rates. But since I'm not talking about frame rates that don't match, we don't have to worry about it. In our case, we're working at 24 frames per second and have footage at the same frame rate. So to solve this problem, what you need to do is one of two things. Once you've imported the footage, you can go into the Interpret Footage dialog and change the footage frame rate from 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second, and that'll fix the problem for that particular piece of footage. Or, before importing footage, you can go into the preferences and change the import settings so that After Effects will import all image sequences at 24 frames per second. Of course, you can always change this back to 30 FPS or just reinterpret imported footage that wasn't meant for playback at 24 frames per second. By the way, none of this applies to video files such as QuickTime or AVI. These formats contain data that tell After Effects what frame rate the footage is meant to play at. It's only image sequences that experience these issues. Anyway, hopefully all of this will help you avoid the mistakes and frustration I've gone through when forgetting to adjust the import settings. How often is that? <laughs> well, let's just say often enough that I figured it warranted a tutorial. So, often enough. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net.